Well, new overnight, so many of you have been sending us your pictures of the northern lights. Take a look at these images. This one is from Amanda in Crosswell. Jim in Bruce Township sent us this stunning view, and you can see all the blues and reds there. Karen in Highland sent us this amazing video, and we want you to keep those images coming. You can upload them on our WXYZ Facebook page or email them to us at news at WXYZ.com. See, I saw hot pink. That's, That's what the, I said out. <laughs> see, yeah, we have hot pink, we have greens, we have reds, we have purples. There's so Everything. many colors. Mm. Yeah, I can't argue with my, that. My favorites are the pinks. That's why I was That's like, just her favorite a, color anyway. Yeah, so, I mean, the sky is giving us a show. It sure is. It sure is. And we were talking about it earlier this morning about how it's been a treat this year. We've had so many of these. Uh, the strengths of the storms, the solar storms have been, you know, weak or strong, but we've had several of them. Mm -hmm. uh, and we want to talk about how they even happen. And thanks for sending those pictures in, by the way, because we had to sleep in, so we were able to see it. Uh, but it's good to uh, be able to see it from the pictures that you send in. So how do these form to begin with? Well, you have Earth, and of course you have the magnetic field that goes around the Earth. And then we have these coronal mass ejections or solar wind. And when the sun pushes these types of ejections or solar storms in our direction, the protons and electrons, they're charged and they're heading towards the, the Earth and it's going to collide with this magnetic field. Well, this magnetic field is going to protect the Earth, but around the poles, it's a little bit weaker. So because of that, these particles, once they collide with Earth's magnetic field, you start to see the interaction of these charged particles and that's going to be, take place at the poles. Because we're closer to the poles, because we're at around the 42 uh, latitude line, just simply means we're closer to the North Pole than areas like Florida, for instance, it means we have a better likelihood of catching this show. So when these various particles and molecules collide, they produce these varying colors, and it all depends on how high up in the atmosphere we go. So yes, there are oxygen molecules high in the ionosphere of the Earth, and that's very high, about 654,000 miles up so it's not necessarily enough oxygen for you to breathe, of course, but the molecules are there. And when these charged particles collide with that, you get the red color. You also get that hue that can create the pink that Hoxie is a fan of, Allie. <laughs> and then we'll see the blues and the greens as well. So it's a beautiful show that we get to check out. And we've had a couple of these so far uh, for this season. And we're not done just yet. It's going to be weaker tonight, and it'll be even weaker for your Saturday night. The bad news, though, the clouds are going to increase with rain in the forecast. So we'll have a harder time seeing it. But there is a chance tonight if you missed out on it uh, during the morning hours.